I just picked these two cucumbers off of these cucumber plants and I probably have more. I can't hardly see. They're starting to grow so fast. Here's another one. But my main goal today is to make salsa. So I've picked peppers right off the bush and tomatoes. Okay, I think I'm going to pick a couple more of these because I want it good and hot. Ooh. I picked a peck of of peppers. Pickled they're not. <laughs> I love everything that's in this basket, but I love this basket too. My great grandfather made this. My mother used it, my grandmother used it, I'm using it, my children use, have used them, and I know all my cousins out there probably have one like this. I hope you use and enjoy yours too. Well, you can imagine with all of these things, I'm going to make salsa. I'm even wearing my salsa bracelet. Thanks, Joy. I had to buy the onion though, darn. Well, you know how these onions bother your eyes. Well, my favorite place to go when I'm cooking and need something is the garage. So I went to the garage and I got these safety glasses and they are working perfect. I'm not tearing up or my eyes aren't burning. Just remember that. Always check out the garage. Now here go the tomatoes. It really makes its own juice, which makes the salsa. We don't add a lot of other things in it. We'll add salt and pepper. We'll add a little bit of cilantro and some lime juice. Now I'm going to cut up these wonderful jalapeno peppers. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to put on my goggles again. I might need to order a pair of these for the kitchen tell you to take out all the seeds because the seeds are where the heat is but I don't take it out because I like the heat so if you're someone that doesn't like it really hot just take out all the seeds before you start cutting it up this is not an exact recipe you cut up tomatoes you put in as many peppers as you want you cut up some onions and then you add like a teaspoon of salt, about a middle of your hand of salt. The same with the, with the cumin, we add a little bit of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some garlic powder, about the same amount of that, which is about a teaspoon. And then probably a half a teaspoon of the cilantro and I'd put in my own if I had it. Now let's mix this all up together and then I'm going to cut this lime that I put in the microwave. It was kind of hard. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and you'll see how nice and juicy it is. And I'm going to Pour in half of one. We're going to taste it and see. I even like to add some of the pulp in there with it. Okay, I have it on my chip. <laughs> I 
I don't think it needs any more, anything else except maybe some more chips. <laughs>